Discovery International Space Station, the President of the United States. Hello, Commander. Can you hear us? Oh, I got it. President, welcome aboard the International Hello, Space Station, where we're joined with our uh, international uh, crew from the uh, Space Shuttle Discovery. Welcome aboard. Glad to hear your voice. We hear you loud and clear, sir. Well, thank you so much for uh, uh, taking the time to speak with us. We've got uh, a crew of wonderful uh, school children here who are all interested in space, and we've got uh, some members of Congress who are like big kids when it comes to talking to astronauts. Uh, I I'm told that you're cruising at about uh, 17,000 miles per hour, so uh, we're, gl we're glad that uh, you are using the hands-free phone. Mr. President, uh, we go around the planet once every 90 minutes. It's uh, quite, a, quite a thrill, and it is very fast, and we see 16 sunrises and 16 sunsets every day. That, that is unbelievable. Well, the, the, the first thing we want to do is just let you know how proud we are of you. Uh, I've got to say, especially uh, once I found out that you're from Bellwood, Illinois, President, it was a beautiful place to grow up, and I have a lot of roots that are still there. Well, that's great. The, uh, we are uh, really excited about the project that you're doing. My understanding is, is that you are installing uh, some additional solar panels on the space station, uh, and that's actually going to increase uh, the number of people that can work out of the space station. Is that correct? Sir, that's correct. We've uh, roughly doubled the amount of, uh, of solar power available for experimentation and for supporting a larger crew, and we hope to go to a crew of six and a more aggressive experimental program this year. Well, this is really exciting because we're uh, investing back here on, uh, on the ground a, a whole array of solar and other renewable energy projects. And so to find out that you're doing this uh, up at the space station uh, is uh, particularly exciting. Can, can I ask how exactly do you end up uh, installing uh, these solar panels? What's involved? Somebody want to give us a rundown on how you go about doing it? Yes, sir. First, it comes up on a uh, truss segment, which is about five feet long. We use a robotic arm, arm to attach it to the end of another truss segment, and then once that's attached and bolted on to spacewalks, then we'll go ahead and unfurl or actually deploy the solar arrays in the position so that we can unfurl them from inside doing uh, commanding through software. How about how long does it take? Spacewalk, you put it all together, about six hours, but to actually do the commanding to actually deploy them out to their full length only takes about two hours. Well, obviously, we're, we're really proud of, about uh, the extraordinary work that uh, our American astronauts are doing. Uh, you know, you are a representative of the dedication and uh, sense of adventure and discovery uh, that you know, we're so proud of. But one of the things that's wonderful about this is that it is an international space station, and I know that we have our uh, Japanese and, and uh, Russian uh, counterparts on board as well. Uh, we, we'd love to uh, say hello to them and uh, hope that uh, that this is an example of the kind of spirit of cooperation that uh, you know, we can apply not just in space, but uh, here on, on the ground as well. Yeah, it's an honor to, uh, to have a chance to talk with you, uh, Mr. President. Uh, uh, we have a Russian crew member, American crew member, and uh, I'm from Japan, and we have 15 countries uh, working together in this wonderful project. National Space Station, as well as on the ground in space, and this really symbolized the uh, future of the uh, scientific development of the world, and I'm just uh, happy to be part of this.